Hey YouTubers, it's Lou with Bergen Pickers. Today we're checking out a really cool looking... Yeah, looks like a Winchester, but it's a sawed off Winchester. Um, some of you may recognize this as the Mayor's Leg uh, from the show Wanted Dead or Alive um, and made famous by Steve McQueen. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, the show and, and just uh, you know Steve McQueen himself. Uh, so he, he received his big break as an actor. Um, you know, it, it didn't come from the silver screen like you'd imagine and what we really know him for today, but... Uh, mainly on, te on you know television, so audiences got their first exposure to the uh, future superstar in the Western televised series *Wanted, Dead or Alive*. Um, it aired from 1958 to 1961, so it was on for sh uh, three short seasons. Um, in the series, McQueen starred as Josh Randall. Uh, he was a bounty hunter who used a cut-down model 92 Winchester rifle in the show, and here it is. Woo! This is nice. Um, so. Yeah, it came out uh, late 50s, early 60s. Uh, it's entirely made out of, well, almost entirely made out of plastic, right? I don't know if you guys can tell, but you got like a dark brown coloring here um, on black. And uh, let's see what that says right there. It reads, official, wanted, dead or alive, mayor's leg. Four star Malcolm, copyright. Um, and yeah, and mayor's leg... And look, look how it's spelled. M-A-R-E apostrophe S L-A-I-G. I don't know what leg means. Um, if you know, write it below. Leave us a comment. Explain it to us, because I don't I don't know. Um, and there's the Mark's Toys logo right there. Boing. Okay, good. Um, so how does it work? What does it do? Tell me, tell me. So originally it came packaged, um, so the packaging, well, let, 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 let's say this. Multiple variations of it came out. Um, you know, the main variation is the packaging. Some were slightly longer, some were smaller. Um, the cap guns, you know, the mini cap guns were released that look exactly like the mirror's leg right here. Um, and they were like really small, almost keychain sized. And you could put a, you know, there were single cap firing. So you put one cap in there, um, pull the trigger, it fires the cap. Um, this is the 13 and a half inch version, again, by Mark's Toys. Um, and what it does, it's supposed to replicate the action of a Winchester rifle. Again, sawed off, cooler. But um, let's do that right now. And I'm going to show you the condition it's in. So how you, you would load... Uh, your bullets here on the side. In this case, it's a toy, so you can't do it. But you still have the action, so as a little boy. Yeah. Sweet. It's got the action like a Winchester rifle um, when you load a bullet. And it snaps back to the case. Um, and this is a click pistol. It's not a cap pistol. So what it's, it's supposed to only make noise. It works perfectly. Um, so what you'll see on a ton of these guns, and this is perfectly okay as long as it's in working condition, there is rusting. Okay, but um, as long as the trigger mechanism works and you hear the clicking noise and it doesn't stick or anything like that, it would be considered in very good condition, even with the rust. Um, as long as nothing's really falling apart, look, um, Here's another important thing. It it stays in place. It locks in. So you see here that snap, it stays in place. If it hangs loose like if you go to flea market or yard sale and you get one that's kind of just hanging loose like this, you know what? I would pass on it. Just skip it. It's probably not worth it. Um unless you're very handy, maybe you can uh try to repair it. But again, if you're trying to resell something and you repair it, Please make a note of it. Don't lie to your uh, buyers. Be honest with them. Um, you know, but chances are you're not a, a pro uh, handy guy repairing these things for a living. Um, you know, if you are, then you know what you're doing. But if not, I would recommend, you know, don't just go out there, buy a broken one and try to fix it. Unless you want to do it for fun or as a hobby. But definitely do not try to resell it and say that it was uh, professionally rebuilt or um, repaired. Or don't say anything at all. 
I would definitely not do that. Always be honest with your potential buyers. Tell them exactly what's wrong with it. Tell them exactly what was modified or repaired on it. Um, it is appreciated, and you're still going to sell it. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's what I would do. So here it is. It's the awesome-looking Steve McQueen's Mare's Leg uh, by Mark's Toys. 13.5-inch version. Um, the whole body is plastic. I'm just going to let it sit there. There we go. Yep. Really neat. Glad to have it. Um, this one is not available for sale. We already have a buyer for it. But I just wanted to share it with you guys. Alrighty. So if you have any comments, questions, or any suggestions, please leave them below. Below the video. Uh, we love hearing from you guys. We love your support. Um, and it is always greatly appreciated. It, it just gives us... Uh, you know, m motivation to, to keep going and make more of these videos of old toys and vintage items. All right. You can always visit our website at bergenpickers.com or you can follow us at Twitter at bergenpickers. I'll talk to you soon.